Hi everyone, I'm Buddy Reiser and I'm the Executive Director of Economic Development for Loudoun County, Virginia. And I'm here with Bernard Mustafa, who is the Chair of the Economic Development Authority. Bernard, great thanks, to see you. Thanks, Buddy. Great seeing you, man. We're here today, a very big day for us, and that is the, the announcement of the winners of the second annual Innovation Challenge. Now, as the Chair of the Economic Development Authority, this is something that you've been very passionate about, innovation. Tell us why you think this is such an important program for Loudoun County. Well, I think that here in Loudoun, we want to build um, an environment where small business is able to grow, and we have the, the uh, showcasing their technology and, and the innovation uh, within our county. And examples are we have businesses um, that are in biotechnology, entertainment, retail, uh, food service, um, industrial waste management, uh, wireless and information technologies. So we want to really showcase those businesses. Now you said <coughs> innovation, that's the name of the contest, and innovation is a, a word you hear a lot, but it's kind of hard to define. What is innovation to you? Right. So we're looking at businesses that are trendsetters, that, that are leading uh, in their particular industries. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you look at some of the winners, you'll see businesses that have really have applied the word innovation to their, to the individual uh, area within the market, their service, or their um, individual product. Now the EDA has identified uh, the entrepreneur ecosystem as an area where you wanted to focus. What made that important to you as the chair? When you, you hear uh, Loudoun County, people think of data centers, but there's a whole uh, lot of small business here in Loudoun County that really don't get that visibility. And we want to make sure that we can start to build that community, build that eco center, ecosystem and that we have uh, businesses uh, that are identified in so many different industries. Now this process uh, kind of proved out the, the theory, right? That there are so many great companies. Tell us about your overall impression before we get to the winners. So I think there were a wide range of, of technologies, um, business areas, uh, everything from uh, uh, bakeries, uh, incubators for uh, business, gluten-free bakeries, um, it's just a wide range, uh, uh, tour, tourism business. Uh, so what we wanted to do is really bring forward those businesses and give them a chance to really to show what they have and compete against other businesses. I would tell you as a fly in the wall in your meeting, I was both impressed and just kind of excited about the quality of businesses that we're starting to see bubble up here in Loudoun County. It's really exciting. Definitely, very exciting. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the winners. Uh, the first category is the People's Choice Award winner. Tell us about the People's Choice Award. So the People's Choice Award, um, we decided to give um, uh, the participants again a chance to uh, market themselves to the community and really come up with, uh, for the community to define a winner. Um, so uh, that, particular award is not, wasn't really part of our individual judging, that was really the, the community deciding who the winner would be. That's great. Well, that's the $10,000 People's Choice Award winner is XCAL Shooting Sports and Fitness. Wow, XCAL. So XCAL is um, uh, sports and fitness, shooting sports and fitness um, entertainment facility in Ashburn. They have about 95,000 square foot facility that they're building out and it includes everything from, uh, we have the shooting ranges, but you have uh, fitness, um, uh, martial arts, uh, functional fitness, uh, they even have retail operations. So it's gonna be quite a, quite a uh, operation over there in, the, uh, in that part of Ashburn. When they first came to me, and I, I guess it's been three years ago, yeah. and they told me of the concept and it was a father-son. Uh, who came to yeah. me and, and I thought, you know what, this could really work. So they're over there on uh, Route 7 near Loudoun County Park, way across from University Center. I think that they, they're a, an outstanding yeah, I, concept. I guess that's gonna be a high-end high entertainment corridor. There you <laughs> go. That's all right. Congratulations to XCAL. Uh, the runner-up, 25,000 Tech Venture winner. Uh, tell us about the Tech Venture category. So the tech venture uh, is a company that, uh, in that category, those companies really uh, focus on providing technology as the basis for their business. And uh, we had some great, great competition there, so I'm really looking forward to see who won. The winner is I2Pure. Wow. 
So I2Pure, um, they uh, use uh, iodine molecules and they really focus on speeding up the healing process and mm -hmm. antiseptic. Uh, one example is I think they had a, um, a rash that they cured that normally takes three months and they were able to, to cure it within uh, 10 days with their technology. So it's very exciting, uh, it's used uh, both in humans and in animals uh, for uh, where you have multiple uh, medical procedures. Medical technology is such an important category for uh, emerging businesses. I'm really excited about that and the opportunity we have absolutely. here in Loudoun absolutely. County. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the next category is the commercial venture winner. Tell us about the commercial venture winner category. So that's a, a broader category of businesses um, uh, that um, came and, and here again there was uh, a unique approach to, uh, to really to applying uh, that so you think commercial but you think about restaurant or or other kind of retail establishments so that was uh, a broad category there. Great the runner-up $25,000 commercial venture winner is the Difference Baker. Wow okay the Difference Baker um, their motto is that they want to bring heaven on earth to those who suffer from food restrictions. So they started a, a bakery from scratch uh, that gluten-free, um, uh, tree nut-free, peanut-free, uh, seafood-free, and uh, pedestrian-free. And so with that, I mean, like so the first thing you think, well, what do they, they use? I think they use pure uh, vegetables and they also use locally sourced products. So we're very excited about them. They're going to be of great value to our community here in, in Loudoun County. Um, and uh, they, they started in the middle of the pandemic also. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, now the launch focus winner. Tell us about the launch focus category. So this particular group of businesses are in the early stage um, and they have concepts and ideas. They've gone through approving some of the concepts, but they don't really have the product in the market yet. Great. The runner-up for the $25,000 launch focus winner, Applied Impact Robotics. Yes. So Applied Impact Robotics, um, let, let me, I have to back up on this one. So they're in the oil uh, business and, and they're um, in the oil business, you have uh, required inspections of oil tanks. And those required inspections are very expensive, time consuming, and very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And um, Applied Robotics created a robot that's able to get to the bottom of the oil tank and be able to determine the thickness of the floor to make sure that, that there's no corrosion. And, and they can do that without taking the tank out of service. So it's a, a massive impact on the, on the uh, gas, the oil industry and uh, both from the standpoint of, of safety, uh, cost, and really time that the tanks are, are not out of service. Just amazing that, that people came up with that concept and were able to make a business out of it. Absolutely. That's just terrific. Absolutely, so it's really fantastic. All right, the, the final runner-up category, Smart County Focus winner. So the Smart County Focus is where uh, we're looking at um, uh, companies that are applying technology that can really help the infrastructure of the county or help other business within the county. Um, and so those, the, uh, we had some really creative companies within that category also. That's great. So the runner up, a winner of $25,000 in the Smart County Focus category is Frontier Kitchen. All oh, right. So Frontier Kitchen, uh, they're actually uh, a food service incubator. Uh, they, um, a lot of times when you have uh, um, chefs in food service, they know how to cook or bake or, or be caterers, but they don't really understand the business side of it. Mm -hmm. And so Frontier Kitchen actually provides that infrastructure to help them to grow their business. And they've had several successful businesses. Uh, a couple of them, I think, won uh, uh, funding from Shark Tank. That's great. Yeah. Okay, good. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Did you bring your drums today for a oh, drum right. roll? No? No, okay. Right, no. Uh, before we get to the overall winner, what was your overall impression of this competition? So actually, I'm going to do the award this time. Did you know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> Thank you. 
I should have I, I should have come to rehearsal. <laughs> so, uh, so you get a chance to do it. Right. <laughs> so um, the overall winner of the Innovate Challenge. So why do you think that you know like the what makes the uh, overall winner different than all the other companies? Well, to me, uh, first of all, congratulations to all the companies because just looking through these applications and watching the pitches. It, as an economic developer, it made me feel really good about the opportunity that we have going forward in Loudoun County. As you mentioned, Bernard, you know, sometimes when you look at Loudoun County from the outside, you know, you see the incredible success we've had around data centers. You know that Dulles Airport is here. You know that we have a thriving rural economy. But the thing that really gets me excited is our opportunity around small business and entrepreneurship. So many smart yep. people here. The, the, the technology leaders that are here are bubbling up these ideas. So for me, to have that opportunity to support these businesses in a way that gives them that hand up that gives them the opportunity to reinvest in their businesses and gives us the opportunity to invest in them, to me, that's an exciting thing. Awesome. So with that said, first place winner, overall winner, $40,000 is Hello Gov. Very nice. Right. That's a cybersecurity company. Yep. Well, Hello Gov provides an infrastructure for, I think, for the overall sourcing of work throughout the government. Interesting. Yeah. Well, listen, all of these winners, all of these winners were just incredible. Uh, I mean, we have a bunch of winners here, but I will tell you that we are proud of every yep. business that Absolutely. came out. Um, so congratulations again, XCAL Shooting Sports and Fitness, I2 Pure, The Difference Baker, Applied Impact Robotics, Frontier Kitchen, and Hello Gov. Bernard, the, the EDA has really made an impact in our community with their small business support. I want to thank you, I want to thank the entire authority for everything you've done to help make the Innovation Challenge this year such a big success. Thank you, buddy, really appreciate it. And with that, uh, with the announcement of our winners, uh, that concludes the second annual Loud Innovation Challenge. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.